Sure, so my name is Aaron Brosnan. Right. I'm a senior marketing manager here at Toro, and we are talking to you today about Toro's robotic mower. Mm -hmm. It's the industry's first vision-based mower, so it doesn't use GPS, doesn't have any of those guide wires you're gonna bury in the ground. It's 100% vision-based. What it does is it goes around a yard and it takes cameras. It takes pictures using the four cameras on the mower. Okay. It creates a, a 3D virtual map right. of your entire yard so it knows where it's been, it knows where it is, and it knows where it's going. Okay. So yeah. you're saying no wires? No wires to bury in the yard at all. So what's telling it not, what's keeping it from going over here and running over Andrew's feet? Well, we don't want it to be running over Andrew's <laughs> feet, so that's a good that's a good call because then I get in trouble. So, what it what it does is it has a map and it uses the cameras that are on it now mm -hmm. to drive around, understand where it's at, and then you set up a containment zone. So you you say, okay. hey, listen, I want you to okay. only mow in this specific area. I got you. You have a handle you can clip on the back when you start. You map it around the yard once. You set your containment area up, and you just let it run. Okay. So what size are the blades? Are these little teeny weeny blades? We got really small blades on the bottom. Right. And what it does is it takes a really small amount of grass off every okay. single time okay. for optimal grass, grass health. It also, it has some, something called smart zone on it. What smart zone is, is you want ran, randomized mowing because that's optimal for grass health, but you don't want it to get stuck in a certain part and pinball around the yeah. property. So what it does is it mows one zone randomly, almost like an intelligent randomness, mows one zone randomly at a time. It knows it did this area, goes on to the next, goes on to the next, goes on to the next. It knows when it has to charge. It can mow all night. It can be outside in the rain. It has an always ready lawn for the customer. Now, explain to me again the optimal health for us. It, it cross mowing all this now. Because one of the issues I get is sure. people are always thinking that it's supposed to mow in stripes. And I says, I mean, I'm pretty sure technology may exist at some time, but when I explain that to people as far as cutting a Bermuda grass, don't keep mowing it the same way each and every time. You may want to mow straight ahead one week, side one week, diagonal one week, because it makes the grass spread a whole lot more but it's better for the health of the grass. You don't get lawn ruts and all that stuff. Exactly, you you want to be actively mowing in a different way every single time. This is why the randomness really helps. Also, you wanna take the least amount of grass off that you possibly can, so that's where those razor blades come in really handy. Okay. So it sends these those little pieces of grass back down into the ground, Okay. and it almost is like a self-mulching. Okay. Now, what are my mowing heights on the Toro robotic mower? So, heights go from 0.75, so really, Ooh. really, really short, yes, sir. all the way up to 3.25. Okay. So, you can have it super long. We've tested this thing on all different types of grass, mm -hmm. Kentucky Blue, St. Augustine. Bermuda. It can tackle them all. Uh, Bermuda, yeah. yep. Now, so that's the only model you're going to offer, those cutting heights. You're not going to have two separate machines for two different heights. Right. That's a good question. We have a up to 0.6 acre. So how a lot of the robotic mower market works now is mm -hmm. it's about coverage. How much area can it actually cover? So it can cover one model covers up to 0.6 of an acre and then we have a full acre model. Okay. Both are going to be the exact same size mower. Difference between the model is a bigger battery and it cuts a little bit faster. Okay. I got you. You got a price attached to it? We're going to be coming out with pricing, uh, distribution, everything in the next couple weeks. Really excited to update you guys. So okay. you're going to check that out on smartyard.toro.com. All right. Can I put them on spot, Andrew? I don't know. You might get I'm ready. Inside. I'm ready. How it's do I good. get one of those at Bermuda Grass Central? How do I get without me paying <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to add that last part in without you paying for it. He was about to say, sure, just go on which call, click, and add to cart, and then bam. But is it possible to get... Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I got a, I got a robotic mower. I almost said it. That's I, okay. Got you one. got another robotic mower at home. Uh, yes, but I got more Toro equipment than I got of anything. You've seen my collection. Yeah. Plenty of Toro mowers. And people keep asking me about that. Do I think this? I got like nine people watching up. <laughs> now it's gonna be more than a replay, but people want to see this thing in action versus just seeing this on green carpet. 
but we got some right up right up here we've been testing this this thing we outside. tested it outside okay. we well it isn't outside here but we've been testing this this thing we've done it on all different types of grass okay. well it can get 25 degree slopes it's ipx6 certified so, so you can hose it down one you wheel in the front or two wheels in the front two wheels in the front okay four well not four wheel drive but four wheels total yep okay and then two in the back all right We'll talk about getting it on some Bermuda grass. We need to get that on Bermuda grass yeah, right there. Yeah, if y'all guys that. don't know who, we got to get a picture of you on a. <laughs>